What's up guys, Kevin here from Relax and Learn Guitar, where I help music lovers over 40 become the guitar players they've always wanted to be. Using some easy to follow lessons, I believe you're never too old to learn. I see folks proving that every day. And this one is a great tune if you're looking for a song that you can play and sing along to. I highly recommend this one maybe as one of your first ones to try that with. The, um, the chords are open chords. I'm gonna show you several different things in this song, a uh, little For What It's Worth by Buffalo Springfield. And there's like probably more than three, maybe four guitar parts in this song. So some of the things I'll show you are good to have other folks playing with and you're jamming with, and you each take different parts, or some of that you can also fit in. It's just a great little tune with lots of cool stuff to learn. And I'll also show you how to play the cool little riff. They're at the end of the song. So let's get started. And if you would like to learn seven more songs using just four chords, stick around and I'll show you how to do that at the end of this lesson. So for this one, you need to know three open chords, easy to play and they sound great. An E chord. An A chord. And a D chord. And that's it. The reason this is a really good tune to play and learn uh, maybe how to sing and play at the same time. It's because at the beginning for this verse, you're just gonna alternate that E and that A chord, strumming down one time on each one. So it sounds like this. There's something happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. The uh, thing I do recommend you do, and this will help you with kind of your rhythm and timing, is keep strumming, but just don't hit the strings. So you have, these are all quarter notes. One, two, three, four, just down strums. We're just gonna be playing the actual first down strum. So it's really like this. The, uh, the other thing I'm doing, if you can hear it, I'm tapping my toe. So my toe's hitting the ground on those down beats. One, two, three, four. Take it even a little bit further, one cool thing you can do is kind of turn your guitar into a drum set. I'm just tapping on my guitar, a little more pronounced than tapping your toe. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Something happened in here. What it is ain't exactly clear. Very cool. And then graduate up to kind of mimicking the drum part in the song. That one takes a little more practice because you gotta be a little speedy there to get to those chords. Would really appreciate it if you would hit that like button. That way more folks on YouTube can see this video and learn this great tune too. So the other thing you'll hear is several things going on sound-wise. There's some harmonics in this. I mentioned earlier like a three different guitar parts. There's harmonics. Very cool, fun to play. A little difficult to fit in if you're playing alone, but if you're playing along with a buddy, they're great to use. So what I'm doing there for this E chord, the harmonic, and a harmonic is a little funky. So you're going to Hold, I use my uh, ring finger for these just so I can get back down the neck quicker. I am playing the high E string, first string, and I'm putting my finger lightly on top of that string. I'm not pressing down, I'm just hover, you know, barely touching it. And I'm doing that over the 12th fret of the guitar. So these metal uh, fret wires down here on the 12th fret, usually with like two dots on your guitar. That's the 12th fret and then the seventh fret on that first string. And if you do that the right way, it takes a little practice. You get some really nice harmonics that ring out. And you can hear those at the beginning of the song. Heck, you can just play the record and do that to play along. It's pretty cool. The other thing that's happening there is a little riff he's doing. You have to be pretty fast to fit this in playing solo. doing there. This is all taking place on the fifth and fourth string. 
you're going to use your index finger here on the fifth string second fret then you're going to hammer on so you pluck that fifth string second fret with your index then you hammer down which is just basically the ring out first and then hammer your ring finger down onto the fourth fret of that fifth string and then play the uh, fourth string on that second fret so you're kind of easier to kind of keep it barred up here so if you have your index finger barring both the fifth and fourth string on that second fret you can do the little hammer on he does that twice another cool part you can fit into the tune And so for the chorus, we're going to add in a few more strums in the strum pattern, and we're going to add a third chord. Uh, starts with that E as the first chord. I think it's time. So a little faster chord change there. Two down strums on the E. I think it's time we stop. Children, two down strums on the D. What's that sound? And then four on the A. Everybody look what's going down. Then back to the E down strum and the A one down strum and then whatever you choose to put in between you could just kind of strum without hitting the strings you could tap once you know just one two three four or get fancier with the part for the riff that they start like halfway through the song and then kind of play it over top throughout all takes place up here on the first and second string of the guitar so the thin strings Kind of break this one into two parts. It sounds like this. So that's what you're kind of going for. So think of this in two pieces. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the open second string, hammer down immediately onto the second fret of that second string with your index finger. Then I use my pinky here to play the first string fourth fret. So it's pretty fluid. And he repeats that. And then index finger stays on that second string on the uh, first fret and plays that along with the open first string. So it's a. That's kind of part one. So for part two, it's the same kind of principle. You're going to pluck that open second string. Then immediately hammer down with your index onto the second fret. But this time you're going to land over here on the third fret first string instead of that pinky playing that fourth fret. And I would use my middle finger there so you have a. And then fifth string is a bend. And then you repeat that first part again twice. And in the very end, He's bending on the second fret, and that's like a little bit of a chore to use. I would use my ring finger there to get some power behind with your middle and index because bending that second string, I mean, sorry, that second fret on that first string isn't the easiest thing to do, but that's how that lick ends. So add that one to your set list. Tackle that one singing along and playing at the same time. Have a lot of fun with it. And to check out those seven songs using just four chords I mentioned earlier, check out this video. And I'll see you guys for the next lesson. Remember, you're never too old to learn.